We're 13 percent of the population, or under 20 percent of the population of the United States, but we're over, we're almost 50 percent of the prison population. One in three black men will go to jail, you know, sometime in their lifetime. And I, I started looking around my friends, and I started counting them. I'm like, yo, I can't be that third person. For real, we got to be mindful what's coming at us after high school, and be mindful that prison is a billion-dollar industry. It's a, a billion-dollar industry. We kind of like around the school, that one particular group people don't want to be bothered with because we have to work to be a part of us. What I go through as a high school teenager is having a lot of work in high school, also maintaining good grades. All right, on this end over here, I need Trishonda, Zariah, Jordan, Kalia, Dele, Ari, DJ, Maya, Kennedy. When I was little, I had, um, Problems with my grades and stuff. So they're like, you know, you don't got the grades, you can't play. Two, four, six, eight. When you have issues going off, offside the court. You know, everybody deals, you know, with life issues. It's like when you get when you get on the floor, it's like you don't think about that no more. Uh. I started playing basketball. My dad started all with me and my brothers off at an early age, so. Really, before I could walk, I was picking up a basketball. It was a baseball, it was a running track. I always, we always been into sports. But what needs to happen, dribble with your left hand toward the basket. I gotta turn my hips first. Day Day, you didn't do that. You just stood here like you still playing middle school hoop. Let her drive and go. That's why it helps me like, get up there. It takes my mind off of everything, what? What? a lot of stress. When I come in the gym, it's just everything that I've been stressing about is just going away. Come on, Trey, move somewhere quick. I originally started coaching when I was still in school. And I would go back and just work with the students there, help out who was ever coaching there at the time, just giving back. And as I got older, uh, my mom said one day, you know, if you don't get a chance to play professionally, you may want to consider coaching. Now sit down like this. Just sit here till I tell you to get up. Because you won't bend your knees, Day Day. You're playing defense like this. Sit down. Up the line. Close out. The girls' basketball had, was kind of down. And um, I think it, I was actually told it had been three games, one in three seasons. Um, and it was a struggle at first because I knew what I wanted to bring into the program as far as the work and things like that. But the young ladies that were presently here hadn't experienced that type of work. We got to do everything right, y'all. If we trying to hang another banner up, drop that loose ball. Just drop the ball. When we get a ball, y'all, get in the habit of picking it up and getting it strong. Don't do the lazy stuff. You got to get the young ladies to understand that it's all about the group first. So when we work, we want to work as a group. We just push through it. Whatever he tell us to do, we just go. We just finish it out. We don't get frustrated or nothing. <laughs> Try to be effective. Let's go. Why are you fading away from the basket, Trey? I was raised by my dad. Like, I wasn't raised by my mom, so. Just, it's, you know, for me being a female, it's hard, you know, getting raised by your dad, because, you know, he doesn't really know how to be so motherly, and then I'm his daughter, so, and then it was three boys before me, so he really didn't know what to do, and it really wasn't his fault, but it just made me suffer mentally. Hey, somebody get in that line. Well, um, I had a, uh, my uncle passed, so that's what really, um, made me want to play basketball more for him, and it was it was a hard time, tough time at that time, and I wanted to give up, but I thought of him and just pushed myself even more because I know that's what he wanted me to do, and I do it for my mom and my family. Make sure we call out names and box out and shot. I just want to get her out of you know Flint, Michigan. Period. Um, it's, a, it's gonna take a lot of time, but I'm determined to reach my goal. I'm fortunate to uh, have a daughter. You know, I have an adult daughter. She's an adult now, but 
during her teenage years, um, you know, I was able to watch some of the different transitions she was going through in life, you know, as well as I have a niece who played and she lived in the household with me coming up as a teenager. I watched some of the transitions she went through in life. And I just kind of studied and, you know, and try to take bits and pieces. He a cool coach. You could talk to him about anything. He help you, like, stay focused. He teach you what you don't know. And that's why I love my coach so much. I look at my coach as a second dad, and I'm so grateful for him. We're kind of on a mission. We, we really focused right now. We didn't have a long tournament run like we were used to having around here. So that's sort of uh, the reason why I have this Belichick stare in my face right now, because we just truly on a mission right now. Camden Girls basketball team, they got that high expectation. We got that, they set that bar high. When they, when I saw the um, trophies on there, it just motivated me even more to go hard for it, not only them, but for my current team. But when we finally won it, you know, it was cool because people was like, uh, oh, he'll never win one. And when we finally won one, it was a huge sigh of relief. Getting the second one was difficult as well because now everyone's gunning for you. And so we had to really try to turn the work up even more going into that uh, repeat year. Let's go, you all. I'm gonna keep pushing to my senior year. I'm gonna make it to college and make it out. You can't go back. To, to your past, you gotta move forward. Um, you gotta start looking at different careers that you wanna do, um, thinking about your life goals. Coming from like our water, you know, people talking about our water, from people, you know, just how we, how people look at Flint. And it's really, Flint's not even really like that to a certain extent, you know? I feel like we have one of like the best talent around here. I really coached the basketball here at Hamity School as an avenue to help out this community, the young ladies, to try to uh, go on in life and be successful. And you know how Flint is and how they, how we are looked at, you just get a different look when you're out doing something positive and out in the community just doing something that you want to do.